This is Twit. We have a new programming language. Oh my god. Well, if you're gonna learn four thousand new APIs, you might as well learn a new programming language. I'm glad I didn't. I didn't I'm glad I didn't go any further with my. It uh, looks like a diving bird. Aaron Hillegas is going. I have a whole new set of courses. Swift. Swift. And it totally rules. Swift. Swift is fast. It is modern. It is designed for safety, and it enables a level of interactivity and development that you've Google's never been doing seen this, on of the course. platform. Mm -hmm. Go and other. When it comes to speed. Languages. Swift is great. Compare Python, a popular scripting language, with Objective-C when it comes to something like, let's say, complex object sort. Objective-C is a lot faster, but Swift oh. is faster still. And take something like RC4 encryption, extremely com computationally intensive. Uh, Python gets utterly crushed in this particular benchmark. An objective, but look at Swift. Now, Swift is also modern with features like closures, generics, type inference, multiple about four return times types, faster and namespace. Than Objective -C. Oh, Developers look love at those guys. So many names. I know, I know. What was, was the, the word? What was the key word in there? I'm going to rule the world. Enthusiasm. I think all of them were the key words. Multiple oh, returns. Closures are important. You know how many people at home are going, what in the heck are these guys talking about? With Swift, you're able to reduce a common pattern that you might see in your Objective-C code like this and reduce it to something as simple as this. Oh, okay. And Swift defines yeah. away large classes of common programming errors. They just aren't possible. This is smart. Now, Swift is completely native to Cocoa and Cocoa Touch. It's built with the same LLVM compiler as Objective-C using the same optimizer and auto vectorizer, and it has the same arc memory management model and the same, same runtime, run time. Wow. which means that your Swift code can fit right alongside wonder if it's a pre your Objective-C to Objective -C. and your C code mm -hmm. in Couldn't the be. same application. Couldn't be. Couldn't be faster for us. Mm -hmm. Now, Swift also enables a level of dynamism and interactivity in development that we've never oh, seen before that. with a feature we call Playgrounds. To demonstrate oh, Swift and Playgrounds in action, I'd like to bring to the stage Chris Latner. Come on up, Chris. So this is uh, smart. Remember, the Department of Defense tried to do this with a language they called ADA. They want to use the language to protect programmers Thank against you, themselves. I'm right. thrilled to be here and to be the first person to give you a taste of Swift. Let me show you how fun and like chicken. it is to write Swift code. So this is what you want. You want something that will have strong typing, this is a Swift have modern program. features like closures, I start typing, but be fully interactive. Response. That's why they use the Python example. It's actually right. running my code Python will let you do this. And displaying oh. the result in the sidebar to the right. So Python is an interactive scripting language. is great for learners. Course, Swift uses type inference and has powerful string processing capabilities which make it as easy to use as a scripting language without sacrificing any performance. That, that, that really is the holy Swift grail. Swift was right. designed from the ground up for Cocoa and Cocoa Touch. So, of course, I have their full power at Still my Still a lot fingers. of visual. Farhad Manju now, says on Twitter, this is the big product that Tim Cook was hinting at. Yeah. All the way up to this a is really huge. Developers, if this is well implemented, will jump at this. Okay, yeah. Keep it simple. And, I think I'll write and again, what you end up with is a whole bunch of developers that don't know... See, right. <laughs> like, which you know, is like, good. Well, it's good for what Apple. you want. Yeah. It's good for Let's Apple. I mean, you, you, yeah. it's not hard to learn C, though. It's not. It's just language. that it. But you start going, you know, you deep into here, something. Uh, the playground sees I've loaded an image. I can even the question is, right will you be able to tailor way. Swift? <laughs> now, Swift is loaded with <laughs> dun, high end dun, features dun. like generic. You might be the first person to do that. No, drool all enough. Actually, posted a picture of. Here you can see I'm using array of strands. <laughs> I'm using the functional map algorithm to apply a closure to every element. Yeah, closures and map. This is this is very powerful list stuff. Of images, all with a simple line of code. Yeah, this is very powerful stuff. Now all these resources are part of this game that I'm working on, and one piece that I'm should have been called IC. Up is the flight path for the blimp that we okay. have. Now this is a simple loop that computes the position for the blimp over time as my game plays. And in addition to seeing individual values, this is one of the real strengths of uh, allow me to Python. Is this kind of interactive? Of a value wow, over it's great for learners. Yeah. And so now I can immediately see that this equation 
will cause my blimp to slowly sink. Yeah, you could definitely see a lot of new yeah. programmers like jumping into this. Mathematica, too. Students might use this mm -hmm. to model mathematics. Has Apple actually done coding on stage at previous events? No, actually. I don't I, recall. It's been a long time. They did in, in the early days at, uh, at WWDC. You'd see code. This is very much Mathematica. So now that we have this the way we want, we can take this and copy it. And let's go to the game that I'm working on. It's right here. Now, this is a playground just like before. But here I have a game Holy in the moly. code written using SpriteKit. Holy cow. Now, you can see our blimp going left and right, straight across the scene. And you I know, on the one hand, I hate the idea of, of kids learning to program in a proprietary language for a proprietary platform. This is absolutely not going to be cross-platform yet. This is exactly what you want to give kids. Well, yeah, and, and once they learn how to do it here, their yeah. resistance to doing it somewhere else is going to be much higher. It's not, it's not like small talk is... Uh, really easy to try out new things. This is very Just powerful. by adding a few lines of code, I can enable sprite kids per pixel collisions, field forces, and lighting effects, getting a, a much more interesting result. Now, Swift Playgrounds even give you full power over time. And with this timeline at the bottom of the screen, I can go forwards and backwards through the execution wow. of my game so I can wow. really see those effects in action. That's amazing. You can see the balloons interacting with each other and with the blimp, just like that. I presume there's a debugger Playgrounds as well. Playgrounds give me unprecedented power said. to see my app in detail and give me full control when I want to refine and polish my application. I'd love to know more but of, of course, the technical Swift works details great with Xcode and runs great on iOS. So let's now jump and see what the finished product looks like. If it's a pre-compiler or doesn't look like it. Here we go. And this is the game that we just built. It looks pretty great. Now, as, there is a uh, Swift told you earlier, parallel scripting C language, which is now down. I wonder if this is an acquisition. And that's just a quick taste and quick look at Swift. It came from the Argonne National Labs. It was in. Love it. Thank you very much.